How big is this house? Must be humongous. Hello. Oh, hi, Steve. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hello, Eve. Okay. I'm Sharon. This is Sharon. Nice Sharon. Nice My better you, half, darling. as she calls herself. <laughs> Eve's unique seven-bedroom finca is full of personality. It has a theatrical throne room, a tranquil, holistic massage room, an out-of-this-world astrology-themed first floor, and an Indian-inspired dining room. If Sharon and Steve decide to take it on, it would definitely be one of a kind on their books. What, what's the story? Right, we were building what we were calling a retreat, mm -hmm. OK? So, um, a wellness centre would be another word for it. A mm. leisure centre, we were going to do... I know, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Eve, the owner, is a retired masseuse and holistic healer. My husband and I first bought the house 14 years ago. Originally, we came out wanting to buy an apartment on the beach. And one day we took a trip inland and we found this place. And the wind was blowing through the trees and you could hear the sound. And it was like the wind was telling me, this is where you want to be. Time to inspect the property in more detail. There's a really, really nice feeling about this property. There's like a calming yeah. feeling. Do you not think? Well, I actually, my stomach is quite I think settled. You, you ladies can pick up those vibes better than us guys. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is. There yeah. is a lovely feeling. There yeah. always yeah. has been. Yeah. This is our inside mm -hmm. eating mm -hmm. area. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Adjacent to the house, there's also a large, partially developed building, which even her husband had big plans for. What we're looking at, just there, yeah. that would have mm. been my massage room. Right. OK. OK. There was going to be a music room, a gymnasium, a theatre, snooker room. Yeah. yeah. But the project, sadly, had to come to an abrupt end. When J my husband John died uh, in 2012, we hadn't finished the project. Without John, there is no... There's, there, I can't do this without John. The project was our project. Even though Eve can't carry on with the project, for a new buyer, it could offer plenty of possibilities. Arranged over two floors and centred around an atrium for the right person, this could be the dream home they've been looking for. It's got a lot going for well, us. I think potential is where we're going to have to keep focusing yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the aim. Yeah. yeah. Now Sharon and Steve have had the full tour, their thoughts turned to how they'd go about selling this quirky property. You couldn't pick up the vibes from this no, house no. from pictures. Our job is to get somebody through the door to yeah. stand here yeah. and get the feeling. But the amount of but... clients that we have that come to us and say, we don't really want the finished article, we yeah, want something that we can either... Understand. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this, you know, it fits so many... ticks so many boxes in yeah. that respect. Yeah. It's not your average Spanish villa. So are Sharon and Steve brave enough to take on the challenge? Of course, we'd love to have the opportunity to try and sell it on your behalf. It is beautiful, there's no question about it. It's going to need some work. The golden question is, how much do they think it's worth? I would imagine around about between 170 and 180 would be my number. figure. Around about that sort of number would be where I would pitch it, so you, you're sort of spot on with that. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's a, a reasonable figure. Yeah. I want to move on. Yeah, yeah of course, so, yeah. of course. I trust Sharon and Steve to find the correct person or people that are going to love the house as much as we did. People that have Eve's personality mm. have a more laid-back approach. If we found somebody like that, they'd be happy to move into this property. We need another Eve. We need another yeah. Eve. We've got to find an Adam and Eve, haven't we?